looks like we have holding for a legal block against Jenneret. And the ball will be moved back to the 28-yard line of the Tigers, and they'll have first down and 10 to go. And number nine finds a little bit of running room on the other side of the ball. Tackled over there by number 77 and 21. That's going to be Cameron Estray, the senior, having a great homecoming night. Once again, in on another tackle along with Lucas Lally. Quarterback takes a shot, then snap, drops back, but he's met in the backfield instantly on a blitz once again by number 66. So in Trustcraft drops him back for about a six-yard loss. And that'll bring up third down and 16 yards to go for the Generate Tigers. As the Lions defense looks to get the golf, get the ball back. Hands it off up the middle once again to number nine, and the Lions meet up with him. You got number 95 and number eight over there. 85, I mean, Jake Morrell and number eight, Kyle Rocio, in making the tackle after about a two yard gain. And that'll bring up fourth down and 14, 13 yards to go as Jenneret elects to punt back deep once again for the Lions. Is going to be Landon Winslow and Bailey Streams looking for another big play by the Lions right here. The punt is up in a way. The squib kick goes down and gets a good roll for Jenneret. Ball's going to roll all the way to the 28 yard line of the Lions. Get about a 35 to 40 yard punt. However, I see a flag on the play. Let's see what we have. Got all sides on the offense. Coach Turner has a choice of making them repunt or taking the ball where he has it. Coach Turner's going to back them up five yards, and it's going to be fourth down and about 17 yards to go. And the Tigers are going to repunt the football, giving the Lions another excellent opportunity at returning a punt and getting great field position in the third quarter. Nine punts it away again, and he hits another squib with it, rolls, and Streams lets it roll, and it goes all the way down about the 33-yard line. And that pickup of five yards for the Lions, who can use all the field position tonight they can get. Lions have first and 10 from the 33. Takes 
the snap, hands it off to back. The rally's fighting for yardage. Broke one tackle and he's breaking several more as Lucas Rally runs the ball all the way down to about the 40 four yard line for an 11 yard run and that's another lion. First and 10, Lions, 7-10 left in the third quarter. Rogers takes the snap, hands it off again up the middle of the alley, and he finds some more running room right up the middle as the offensive line is creating a couple of holes there for Lally. Looks like another six yards on that run. Brings the ball down to the Tigers' 49-yard line with a second down and four yards to go as Rogers comes in with the play. Hand off again to Lally, and he takes it over on the right hand side, and he's getting a great push from his lineman. Finds another eight yards on the carry, brings the ball all the way down to the 42 yard line. About a seven yard carry, actually, an eight yard carry down to the 41, and that's another lion. First and 10 lions. Rodgers gets the snap, hands it off to Lally again. This time, he doesn't find much running room. At the defensive line for the Tigers, Stephens up, 56, 62, and looks like 63 over there on the tackle. It'll be second down and 12 yards to go for the Lions as Rodgers comes in with the play. Takes a snap, throws a pass, just not quite there. Greens couldn't reach it. As they were trying a quick pass on the outside, pick up five or six real quick. And that'll bring up a third down and about 11 yards. Ball placed on to the 43 yard line of the Tigers. Rogers goes in with the play. Timeout Lions. Coach didn't like what he saw. With 5-11 left in the third quarter. Lions are driving, ball on the 43-yard line. Got to get down to the 31 for a first down, and it is third down. Third and 10, drops back to fast, tries to drop it off on the side to 27. That's Peyton Trosclair, just can't quite connect. And that'll bring up a fourth down and 12 yards to go with 507 in the third.
Snap the football. Throws it down the field. And unfortunately, Screams could not come down with it. Pass is incomplete. And the ball will be turned over on downs to Jenneret. Ball will be placed first and 10 on the 44, excuse me, 43 yard line. We have two injured players on the field. Looks like cramps and have an official's timeout. When we come back with 502 left in the third, Jenneret will have the ball first and 10 from their own 43 yard line.
Six throws a bubble screen again over on the opposite side. Finds a little bit of room. Looks like they're going to get about six yards on the play. It'll bring up second down and four for the Tigers. Bubble screen's been working fairly decent for them tonight. Runs out of bounds, and that'll stop the clock at 4.56. Tigers come up to the line of scrimmage. Takes a snap, hands it off to the up back, and he brings it up through the middle, but not before he's met by the Lions. Defensive line, number 85, Jaden Burrell, 77, Cameron SJ. 52, Gavin Beebe. Tigers get the snap. He hands it off up the middle again. And he's met by a crowd. Oh, and the ball pops out. 27 comes up with it to 20. Trosclair's hands, and he knew exactly what to do with it on the 55-yard run to the end zone. And with that, that brings the score to your Lions 13 and the Tigers 20 with 4.05 left in the third quarter. Number 33 on the field, Purple, to attempt the extra point and bring the Lions within six. It's up, and it's good! And with that extra point, the Lions have gotten right back into this ball game, ladies and gentlemen, with 4.05 left in the third quarter. Excellent defensive play right there by the Lions as someone stripped the ball out in 27, Peyton Trosclair scooped it up and ran it straight into the end zone. 
That score is going to put some life back in the lines, firing them up as they get ready to kick the ball off back to the Tigers again. Looking to try to get it back on defense and score another one. Turkle to kick off. Turkle kicks it up. Number 12 gets it over on the opposite side. He's looking for running room. He, oh, and he's tripped up by number 27. Big time play over there by Peyton Trusclair. Drops him on the 20 yard line. Excuse me, on the 30 yard line. And that'll bring up first down and 10 for the Tigers. As the Lions and defense looks to make another big play right here. Quarterback takes a snap, drops back, bubble screen again to number seven. And he's met over there on the other side by several line players making the play. First in on it was number 14. That's going to be Cooper Arsenault, the freshman. And number zero, Landon Winslow, the senior. Second and five for the Tigers. Snap, same thing, bubble screen to the opposite side. And the Lions sniff it out, number 27, once again. That's going to be Peyton Trostland, number 85, Jaden Burrell. Dropping him back for about an eight-yard loss, bringing it up to, excuse me, a two-yard loss, bringing it to third down and 10 to go with only 3.03 left in the third quarter. A lot of football left tonight. Tigers have third and ten. Takes a snap and a shotgun. He's being rushed. He drops the ball deep. And it's a little bit over the head of number seven, who is wide open. as the safety didn't drop back far enough to get up with him. And that will bring up fourth down and 10 for the Tigers, who will elect to punt the football back deep for the Lions as Winslow, the senior, along with Lucas Lally. Big return here, hopefully, for the Lions. Number nine in the punt. Snaps a football, the punt's up, and it's straight up and down. And the ball bounces on the direction going towards the Tigers. Ball bounces all the way down to the 32-yard line. Winslow being smart, not picking it up, causing any fumbles as the momentum's going in the Lions' way. First down and 10 at the 33-yard line. At the 32-yard line of the Lions. Plenty of time left in the contest for a nice drive right here. Coach Turner sends him in with the play. Hands it off to number three. Unfortunately, he has a penalty on the play. We have a legal procedure against the Lions. 
That'll back them up five yards. It'll be a first down and 15 yards to go. down in five he hands it off and looks like we get no yards on the play number three Lally tackled instantly bring up second down and 15 yards to go again at the 27 yard line of the Lions Rogers getting the play Takes a snap, drops back the pass, got a man wide up at the middle, it's pretty seven again. That's going to be transferred, he brings the ball all the way down to the 44 yard line. Great night for Peyton Crossflare. Unfortunately, we have a penalty on the play. It looks like it's going to be against the Lions. Delegates a great play by the Lions right there. Had an illegal shift on the play. It's going to move them back another five yards. It's going to bring them back to the 22-yard line. Going to give them a second down and 20 lines. Got to find a big play here in the bag. Hands it off to Lally. He's got a little bit of room on the outside, but he's met by 56. Who makes a really nice tackle on Lally. Stops him at the line of scrimmage. Looked like he had a little running room. That'll bring up. Third down and 20, right at 19 yards to go. Here comes in Rogers with the play. And we have a timeout called by the Lions. Want to make sure they get the right play in there at this time. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, please, all trash, please remove it from the stadium. Canvas your area. Even if you didn't bring it in or you didn't buy it from the concession, help to keep Covenant Christian Academy at Manning Field on Nichols State University at John L. Gendry Stadium. Please clean up and canvas your area. Thank you so much. Critical third down and 19 for the Lions. 30 seconds left in the third quarter. Down by six. Looking for a, bird, a big first down here. Drops back, drops it off to Winslow. Winslow's looking for some running room. Not much there as 56 makes another big time play and makes the stop. And that'll bring up fourth down and 13 for the Lions. And Coach Turner will send out the punting unit as number 33, Perkle. Gets ready to punt the football back to number three for the Tigers. Punts up and away, and it's a ground squibble that's coming down the field. 
covered very well by number nine over there. That's going to be Owen Davis. The southpaw tracks it all the way down to the 30-yard line. Another nice 35-yard punt by number 33, Gary Purple. Eleven seconds left in the third quarter. Takes a snap, hands it off to the running back in the backfield. He's got room around the right side. He's looking for the up. Brings it all the way out to the 50-yard line for a 20-yard gain for number 12. Didn't look like anybody was home over there on the left-hand side of the field. And that'll bring up 4.3 seconds until the end of the third quarter as the Tigers have stepped into Lion territory. And ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of the third quarter. We're ready for the fourth quarter of football with the Lions down by only six. Ball at the 48 yard line, big defensive stand needed. I'd like to thank Robichaux Ford for sponsoring CCA activities and also would love to thank Tanya Allen's Rolling the Deals Auto Sale. Schriever, Louisiana, for all your student automotive needs. See RollingTheDeals.com. Tanya Allen, thank you. Big fourth quarter right here. First down and 10 for the Tigers. Ball at the Lions 40 yard line, 12 minutes left in this ball game. Quarterback gets a snap, throws a screen, pay outside on the 11. He's tripped up over there. Looks like number 27, Trotsklad, trips him up. Knee goes down, but he still gets about three yards, and that'll bring up second down and seven for the Generette Tigers. Hands it up the middle, and he's met by the Lions right there, number 85, number 77. Coming in on him, that's going to be Jaden Burrell and Cameron SJ on a big stop, dropping them two yards behind the line of scrimmage. Great play by the defensive line right there, bringing up a big third down and nine yards to go for the Tigers. 10.57 and the clock running in the fourth quarter. It's third down. Takes the snap, drops back to pass, looking for it. He's trying to find running room. He finds a little bit, but he's, he's met up by the Lions and tackled at about the 40-yard line, stopping him two yards short of the first down. Quarterback scrambled out of, out of the backfield. And that'll bring up a fourth down and two. Big play.
Quarterback takes the snap, hands it off up the middle. Let's see if he gets it. It's going to be all about the spot. It looks like the refs is marked it at the 41-yard line. Doesn't look like he's made the first down. They're calling him down at the 41-yard line, where it's knee and he needed to get to the 42-yard line. Let's see where the officials place the football. Oh. And it's first down and 10 for the Lions, who take the ball over on downs with 9.50-49 left in the contest. Big defensive stand right there for the Lions. Big play by number eight, middle linebacker. Kyle Robichaux stepping up in edge, stuffing it. The running back at the line of scrimmage. Takes a snap, hands it off in the backfield to Lally. Lally's not finding much room over on the right hand side. Looks like he may have lost a yard on the play as a defensive line. But Jennerette steps up and makes a big defensive stop. It'll bring up second down in about 10 and a half yards for the Lions. Rogers getting the play from coach. Quarterback takes a snap, throws the screen out, and it's caught by Winslow, who takes off the football. Great athletic play. The ball went through the hands of number eight, Tyler Robichaux, and right into the hands of number zero, Landon Winslow, the senior, who finally gets to show his athletic prowess as he takes the ball and brings it another 20 yards down the field. Brings the ball down to the 38-yard line of the Tigers as Winslow, Winslow gets the ball. Snap is taken. Gives it to Lally in the backfield, but there's no running room there. He stopped right at the line of scrimmage. He'll bring up second down and 10 to go. As the Lions are not having a lot of success running the football at the moment. Coach Turner sitting the play in with Tristan Rogers. Takes the ball, tries the wildcat, but Trust Clans Aroma shows instantly stop in the backfield. And it's going to be a third down in five. Number 54's helmet came off, so he has to step off of the field for a play. As the Lions will have third down and 13, as the Tigers came up with a big defensive play right there. Play will resume and the 25 second clock is started again.
Rodgers gets the snap, drops back to pass, he rolls out. I see a lot of green, he decides to run, takes the ball all the way up to about the 22-yard line. Gets a great scamper down the field of about, I'd say, 20 yards. No flags on the play. As Roger brings the ball up, they say he stepped out of bounds at about the 31-yard line. And now to bring up fourth down and four for your Lions. Officials time out. Look like Rogers may have stepped out of bounds over there. Big fourth down play coming up for the Lions. They need about four yards for a first down with 6.42 left in the ball game. Lions step out on the field. Here come the Tigers. There's no Bears. There's fourth down. Three to go for the Lions. Tristan Rogers gets a snap. He's trying to get away from the running back. Unfortunately, he just cannot get there. And he is dropped by number 54. He makes a big play. And the ball is turned over on downs by the Lions with 634 left in the contest. Plenty of time left with only six points down. Lions defense has to regroup here and stop the Tigers. Get the ball back. Or make a big defensive play. First and 10 for the Tigers with only 6.34 left. To see if the Lions are up to the challenge. Quarterback gets the snap, hands it off up the middle of the running back, and he finds a couple yards on the play. He's met in the backfield by a couple of Lions. Looks like that's going to be number eight. Kyler Robichaux stepped up and made the big play along with several other Lions as they only pick up about three yards and bring the ball up to the 35-yard line. Second down and seven to go for the Tigers. Takes a snap, throws the bubble screen again, and Winslow stops him on the outside. Only gets about a three-yard gain, and that will bring up third down and four yards to go. Looked like the bubble screen was going to work, but Winslow, Winslow stepped up, make the big play. As the seniors are showing their athletic skill tonight, Gets the snap, throws it deep, he's got a man, and oh! Couldn't quite get it in the Butterfingers, kind of popped in and out of his hand. Big break over there for the job for the Lions. As number four had it right in his hands, but just couldn't hold on. And that'll bring up fourth down and four, and Let's see if the Tigers decide to punt or if they're going to go for it. Plenty of time left on the clock for the Lions. Tigers sent out the punting team. Get ready for the fake, guys. Number nine takes it and punts the ball away. Lally lets it drop, picks it up. 
Very dangerous, but he gets the ball down to the 34-yard line. 454 left in the contest. The Lions have 60 yards to 65 yards to march down the field to score. Last home games for seniors Vasco, SJ, BB, Cruz, Hawkins, Robichaud, Rogers, and Winslow. Takes a snap, throws it to Winslow. Winslow's trying to get to the edge. Ah, slips. And the turf toe gets him, and he drops to a knee back at the line of scrimmage. Finally trying to get the ball into Winslow's hands and let him turn loose some of that athletic skill. Be second down and 10 to go. Rogers in with the play. And he hands it off again to Lally, who's fighting for running room, and he pulls his way for about a five-yard gain. Brings the ball all the way out to the 44-yard line. Oh, excuse me, 39-yard line. Lucas Lally's fighting for every yard he can get. Excellent young sophomore running back. Excuse me, that's Connor Lally. I apologize. Lucas Lally is his brother or cousin. Third and five. Big play for the Lions. Have all sides on the Tigers, and that'll be five yards marched off, and that'll bring up a third down. And that'll bring up a first down and 10 for the Lions with the ball at the 44 yard line. Takes a snap, looks for the screen, it's not there, looks for a pass, throws the ball over to number six, just can't quite reach it on that play. That was uh, out there, Landon Lecomte, the receiver that number seven, Rogers was trying to reach, and that'll bring up a second down and 10 to go for the Lions. And hands it off up the middle again to Lally. No room. Gets it back to the line of scrimmage, and it'll be third down and nine yards to go. We're in four down territory with 325 left in the ball game and counting as Rogers is getting the play from coach. Beebe comes out, gets a small break. Lions need a big play here, third and nine. Snaps the ball, he's instantly pressured, looking to get around the corner, he finds some running room, and he gets all the way up to about the 50, about the 48, 49 yard line, and then he's hit out of bounds, looks like we have a flag. 
on the opposite side. Let's see what the call is by the refs. Looks like Rogers was hit after he had been out of bounds for a yard or more. Let's see what the call is. Well, it's against it's against the Tigers, and they're going to move the ball 15 yards. For unsportsmanlike conduct, late hit against the Tigers. 2:42 left in the ball game. First and 10, 34 yard line. Drop back the pass, it set up the screenplay, just couldn't connect with, with Lally. Turned the lineman loose a little bit too quick out there, offensive line. To be second down and 10 to go. 14 to 20, Lions down by six. 34 yards to pay dirt. In four down territory, second down and 10. Rogers goes in with the play. Ball snapped on the ground. He picks it up. He's looking for running room. And he falls it up. Incomplete ball with pass. Incomplete pass on seven with seven to Rogers as he was in the grasp of a defensive lineman. Great play. Thinking to get rid of football. Third down and 10 to go. 232 left in the contest. Drops back to pass, looking for a receiver. He finds running room. He runs it up the middle, and he brings it all the way down to about the 26-yard line. Picks up about eight yards on the play and leaves the Lions with a fourth down and two with 2.15 and counting on the clock. Big play here, fans. Let's get on our feet. Fourth down and about four yards to go. Actually, it's fourth and three for the Lions. Gets the snap, drops back the pass. He's rushed already. He's looking for room. He throws it up. And a little bit too deep in the end zone. And that will turn the ball over on down as the fourth down was incomplete. And with 128 left in the clock, I think the Lions have one timeout left to stop the clock. However, that may not be enough as the Tigers will get the ball back on the 27 yard line with 128 on the clock. Thank you. 
Tigers have first and 10 to go. 128 left on the clock. First and 10. Tigers take a timeout. No time is run off of the clock. Tigers snap the ball and kneel down. Time out. Time out, Covenant. As coach stops the clock for the last time. We'll bring up second down at about 12 for the Tigers. It'll be fourth down for the Tigers, and there will be about a one to two to three second difference between the play clock and the actual field clock. And 
Timeout Tigers with 3.4 seconds left on the clock. And fourth down. Fourth down and 16 yards to go for the Tigers. 3.4 seconds left on the clock. Let's see what they decide to do on this play. They'll turn the ball over on downs as soon if they cannot run the clock out. Gets the snap, the Lions attack him. He runs around in the backfield. And the clock is expired, and he's still on the ground. That's the end of the ball game, ladies and gentlemen. A hard-fought game tonight by your Covenant Christian Academy Lions. Fell just a little short towards the end of the game.